Good, I think it's afternoon guys. Happy Saturday. I'm redoing this vlog all over again because if you guys follow me on Instagram, what's wrong? You just, oh my God, he's going through a growth spurt. I just did his three month um, baby update too. He eats like crazy and he won't let me put him down. He's just crying constantly. He's thrown up on me like three times. So that is the life of a stay at home mom with a newborn. This one wants chips constantly. My dog's my dog. We're having a rough day, but we got this. Put this on you. You're not hungry and I can't feed you in stress. Can I, okay, look at Mommy has to feed herself first. And let me feed brother because I've already fed you three times. But if I don't eat, I can't make milk for you. Same conversation we have every day. Oh. All right, I love this. Have I shown you guys this wrap? It's so easy. This is like, there's no wrapping required. This is one piece that crisscrosses. So you just have to slip your arms through. You put it on like a t-shirt and then it just comes with that second part. But the second part has like a little, I call it my kangaroo pouch. It's like a little pocket. So you can stick stuff in there or after you're done, like if you're traveling, this wraps up into that second part like a little bag. It's so cute. Look at his little head. You're not hungry. Oh my God. Okay, let me situate everybody real quick and then I will let you guys know what's going on and what we're doing today. So we did tostadas last night and I thought I would just warm up my leftovers. Um, I'm just doing a burrito because he's hungry and this is easier to eat in. But I forgot I added the cheese in there and now it's like melted. So that's fun. He's calm. So real quick, yesterday um, I even tried to vlog through it and I was looking back on the footage, guys. I was shaking so bad. So I got a message from one of my aunts asking what hospital my grandma was in. And that threw me off because I didn't know my grandma was in the hospital and she lives out of state. I started like panicking. I googled ev like hospitals in her area and started calling every hospital in her area because I, I didn't know where she was at. So I finally found her. Then she didn't like, yeah, she didn't want to take any phone calls because she just didn't feel good. And I at this point have... I think you're getting sleepy. Yeah, you're sleepy. I had no idea what was going on. Um, I finally like called back, talked to the nurse because the nurse wouldn't give anybody information. But I'm my grandmother's beneficiary, so I called and told them. But they said because there's no way to like verify who I am over the phone, um, they can't do anything about it. And so she just told me my grandma was stable. She just can't physically talk right now. She doesn't feel well, um, and she'll try to like call me later. So I said okay. So my grandma finally called me last night, but for those few hours, like, it just heart-wrenching pain. I was crying, I was stressed cleaning my house. Well, it was clean, but you know, when you have kids and a husband. Um, I like stress cleaned my entire home, like I was mopping the floors, just trying to keep my mind off of things, and that's something my grandma does. Water. And I just, <sighs> She's like my best friend and I would be a mess if I lost her and I just felt so bad too because I Forwarded her call the other day because I was busy and I was like looking back on it I have no idea what I was doing when I forwarded her call like I may have been with the kids I may have been like dinner like I don't know and so that just tells me like it obviously wasn't that important and She called the day before I guess she went into the hospital and I'm just like was she trying to tell me she didn't feel good because she normally leaves a voicemail and this time she didn't and I just like when I didn't hear from her I was just thinking the worst and the fact that I forwarded her call and I never called her back because I was too busy like I just very different perspective on life right now so she I finally got to talk to her she's just in pain um, and I just ask you guys to please be careful when you're taking over-the-counter medication that's why she's in the hospital um I guess she was throwing up blood because she was taking Advil and I believe Advil is a form of aspirin and aspirin is like one of the worst things you can take my camera cut out <laughs> the memory card is full so I don't know what I'm saying but basically um yeah, she was taking up on nearly an empty stomach because she just snacks all day and she's like Aria and eats like a bird and I'm sure that didn't help but just I know with over the counters we think like it's fine because you can go pick them up at you know your local Target or Walmart or Walgreens but you have to seriously be careful especially with aspirin products um, on like how you take them and if it's not working after 24 hours like go see your doctor. Um, she was doing it for a migraine which I understand because I get migraines but at some point you just, you gotta stop being stubborn and you gotta go see a doctor. So thank you to everybody who reached out to me on Instagram. She is doing better. Um, I will talk to her hopefully today when she goes home and have like a little update. But I'm gonna finish my lunch, her lunch, 
we may take a nap first but um, I need to go back to Target because we are planning our family photos and um, some of the outfits just didn't work but I have a better idea of what we're gonna wear um, so I just need to do like size exchanges and then get like a final idea but we're gonna eat first oh my god you guys I just almost died I hate spiders and I was like putting the kids in the car Got it? And a spider, as I was like opening Ezra's door, just dropped like in front of my face, like touched my nose and I freaked, I freaked out. <laughs> so I just stood out there for like five minutes until the spider like dropped all the way off of his web and then like scurried away. I can't, that's the wrong key. But I totally forgot, I put this in my car so I'm a person that has like the messiest car in the world and this thing keeps me so organized. Let me just show you. So this is from Molly Ollie. It's like a little caddy. Oops, the name's on this side. Uh, if you guys can see that, it says Molly Ollie car organizer caddy. So I love having this in here because, oh, I just kind of put this together so it holds it up. Um, this is mine. It is like a toy for Ezra. Um, but it's because it keeps my car so much cleaner. So I mean, I like took away all the junk. That's just all the returns I have to do right now. But my car is always such a mess. So this is, I need to put the mirror on. Oh, I don't know how to do it because we have those type of seats and I don't know how to strap this around. But um, I have a little mirror here. Uh, this is, I split it up into different pockets. So this is Ezra's pocket. He has a bigger one. And this is like customizable so you can take it off and like, put it any way you want. So right now I just have it split up into three, um, but I have like extra diapers and wipes in here, his little lovey, some extra pacifiers, burp cloths, that my breastfeeding um, cover, because if I need to stop on the side of the road like I've had before, I have a cover easily accessible to me. I have Aria's little pocket here, so it has like little um, toys that carry in a bag so that they stay clean, and this is like her little math toy, some books for her, and then um, extra underwear wear in a diaper just in case but she is potty trained so honestly I it's just in there and this is my pocket so I have sanitizer wipes to wipe anything down just in case I spill anything a first aid kit so band-aids and stuff for the kids or anybody gets hurt um, some breastfeeding pads which I actually don't use but in case I need to I have them in here and then this is like the game changer so I just use um, bags that I get from like Target or Walmart I put in here so if I change a diaper and I don't have anywhere to throw it away I can just place it in here and then when we find a trash can, we can just throw it in there and it doesn't smell up the car as bad. And then I have a full size trash bag as well. Um, this will just keep my car clean. So if we stop for like fast food or anything, I don't have to just leave it laying in my car. I can put it in the trash bag. And again, when we get home or something, I can just throw it away when it gets full. Um, and then my little planner, one of many, I am like planner obsessed right now. Um, and extra pins in here too. And there's so many extra pockets I'm not even using, but if we go on long road trips, I can put snacks and stuff in here. So I love this thing and it like, I just keep it right here since I'm really the only one that drives in the car. But if like Eric was in here with me or there's two people, I can put it down there without taking too much space or like in between the kids right here and easily get to it. So yeah, that definitely helps me stay like more organized in the car and it's safer for me too. Yeah, we're gonna go to Target because when like I have all that stuff in the diaper bag, which I normally will have extras in the diaper bag, but it keeps me from having to try to dig while I'm driving. This is open and I can easily just grab it and pass it back to the kids and it's a lot safer. So I definitely love it and it's super durable and it matches our interior too, um, even in the Toyota because we have a gray interior in the Toyota. Um, and that's the other thing too, I can just, if we switch cars, just grab the whole thing and take it to the other car and everything's in there that I need. So that is, I absolutely love it. So if you're looking for a car caddy, that one's really good. Um, and like I said, my biggest thing was it's customizable. <laughs> She's playing with a little hamster. Um, but I'll leave all the socials down below. It's mollyolly.com and they have a ton of like motherhood, um, children related products as well. So just a little car organization tip for you guys. So 
so I couldn't find anything at Target that was what I needed for our photo shoots. So I'm hoping, um, oh, Eric just got something in the mail, but it's only half of his order at Express, and it's not even like the shirt that we wanted. It's the other one that we changed our mind on. So um, I'm hoping his order comes in the next couple days, and then this way, if there's any exchanges, <laughs> I can go to Express and get what I need because I really need pants. I'm really hoping for like linen chambray colored pants i think that would be really cute instead of doing jeans like i originally thought but since i can't do a try on haul for you guys i can do an unboxing of something amazing that i just got in i'm so excited but let me put this down on the tripod okay so since starting my channel i get asked all the time what do i use for vlogging and i use the lumix g7 camera it's a really nice camera but it's bulky so it gets really hard when we want to go out um or like even at the store i feel uncomfortable vlogging with it because it's so big any other equipment that we've had we've gotten on sale we get through like facebook marketplace um, we basically buy it secondhand or used i've never purchased anything for my channel or my business full price or brand new so I've been wanting the Canon Mark II but I've been holding out because I knew the Canon Mark III was coming out which gives me the ability to shoot in 4k it has a microphone output so I can connect a mic to it because that's what I have here and I just got it in I'm so happy I'm so excited like I was even, I kept telling Eric, are you sure, are you sure? I've been working really hard behind the scenes and I just finished up a project with a pretty big company. Um, obviously not on my channel or you guys would have seen it, but I was working with them to post things on their socials and their business and it was like, it was like a real job, you guys. <laughs> and so it, it was just really hard work and so Eric said I should treat myself and reinvest into the business um, because this is something that I really wanna do and get into like advertising and marketing and stuff. Doing that behind the scenes um, and like just the product, I don't know. I just, I loved it, you guys. So right out of the box, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen. This would be easier if I didn't have a baby in my hand. So it just has like the warranty and stuff. It has like the instructions. I'm not gonna do a whole like technical review of it because I'm not that techie. Um, Eric would do a way better job. But I was watching Think Media, Sean um, Cannell. He actually did a review of the Canon because Canon sent him one to test out before they launched. Um, and I forgot her first, I think it's Anne uh, May. I'll just post both of their channels down below. Okay, so it does come with a power bank. Um, so this is what it looks like. And I love these types of chargers. I have to like focus. I have that for my Lumix as well. And so the plug, it just like plugs into any outlet. But I love how flat they are and they don't like stick out. They're not bulky or anything like that. All right, and this is just, I didn't buy any bundles or anything. This is straight out of like the box what you get um you also get the battery okay so next thing on the side here is i think this is like the wrist strap and you say canon yeah so it comes with the wrist strap to attach so the camera did come in two color options i know the mark ii only came in black this one came in black or this really cool silver color and i love the retro vibe of it so I got the silver one so that is what it looks like um, it does have the flip up screen which everyone was saying that the flip up screen is sturdier than the mark II. again I can't compare because I've never had the mark II. this is my first power shot it's gonna stick the battery in real quick um, so batteries like same place I already put like fingerprints all over this um, so let's take it off Oh, wrong way. Does anybody else do that? Okay, so to turn it on is the top button here. So that's with it on. Okay, so I'm trying to set the date and time. Hopefully I can come back to this because it's actually like really, really hard. So the date's here. Okay. So I don't know if you need like a stylus, but it won't let me do it. So I'm just gonna press okay. Am I missing something? Someone help me out. <laughs> okay, other thing, um, I use the, I'll show you. Uh, what is it, it's 90 uh, megabits per second, 128 gig memory for my SD cards. You can get these on sale. They're like two, four, 75 or something like that at um, Costco. And the memory card slots right next to the battery. But these SD cards are really good if you are gonna shoot in 4K. So it does have a mic on the side here, but the problem is there's no shoe mount on top, so that's what 
usually you would mount your external mics to, but there is none. So that's what everybody was having a problem with. So I did purchase a mini mic. I can't do this with him. Okay, he was just too <laughs> wiggly for me, so he's next to me in his little swing. Um, but this is the Ceremonic. I think it was, I saw it on iJustine. She did like a review on it. It was like $25. I have a Rode right now. Everybody was saying to get the Rode, the Rode Go or something like that, where it's like a little clip to you. It's wireless, and then it's like a little box that you can clip to the camera. Um, so you would like insert it in and then it would basically just kind of dangle off of the wrist strap. This feels weird not having so much bulk in my hand. I'm trying to like, is this the button? That's okay. I just took a picture. Um, it looks way different. I feel like my videos are flat. Like this like pops you out of the background. It's so cool. Okay. I'm just trying. And yeah, the lighting is way better. And the color and stuff. I color grade and post production with the camera I have now, and I'm not that good at it. So sometimes my videos will be like oversaturated or have too much contrast or be blown out with like the white balance and stuff. Okay, I don't know if it's recording. If it is recording, we can do a sound test. If it's not recording, I'm just gonna figure out how to do it and we'll do a sound test at a different time. All right guys, I just need to add this in because I did everything so wrong earlier and I just wanna show you guys the correct at least button like features and functions. I'm in the kids room because Eric is giving Aria a bath, but um, so here you have your HDMI, which you can charge this with a HDMI cable. Um, and it does have a micro USB as well. So those are the two functions there. It looks like you still have a manual focus, which is what I'm used to. Okay, so of course, um, one thing I'm not used to is the screen is always exposed. On mine, you can flip it and it has like the protective back, um, but it does flip up and it has a pretty sturdy flip up. And then it also flips out a little bit. I'm not really sure why, I guess to give you an extra angle here, but I don't see me flipping this away from my camera. And then what I couldn't find earlier, what I'm used to is all of my like to take pictures and record is basically the same button or they're close to each other so to take pictures is this button up here but to record is this one back here so I was pressing this button earlier and it was not recording anything so the test I did earlier was like gone all right and then you have everything else back here so you have um, like I said your record buttons here not sure what that is and this is my first power shot I've never had the mark two so um, the mark three is my first one I've ever had so I'm sure if you guys switch over upgrade this will be easy to transition but this is completely new to me so I have to get readjusted um, but all your menu settings info um, your preview screens menus right there and then you have your settings, so to switch from camera, manual, which I think most people shoot on auto. I actually shoot on manual though. It just kind of depends on your preference. Um, this is, of course, to take pictures and on off screen. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And when you turn it on, the lens pops out, um, but you still have control of here. I haven't formatted anything, so I need to like go through that. I mean, the room in here is pretty dark, if you guys can see. Um, but it has like really good lighting. All right, so that is from the Lumix, what I'm usually used to. And then this is from Canon. It's slightly blurry, but the light difference, like you guys can see, and I'm actually recording, so I'll insert that as well, which this is gonna help me out so much because part of my problem is my house is dark. It doesn't get a lot of natural light coming through the home. So this is going to help out so much when I am vlogging in dark spaces or like we travel or anything like that. Okay, so another thing I was really confused by is the record button up here, which is why when I touch this, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. This is obviously a touch screen, so you can use that button to record as well. Um, which is nice if you have it flipped up and so you can go ahead and press the screen while you are vlogging versus reaching around or flipping the camera. Um, so it just makes it a little bit easier for you guys. That is the little features and preview. So we will go ahead and go back to the actual video of me unboxing it now. But that is what it looks like with the mic. Maybe I'm turning that. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. Um, so if you get this camera and you're looking for a mic option, the, what did I say, the Ceramonic? Yeah, Ceramonic is what I found. So hopefully it works with it. But I mean, especially because this isn't huge and bulky, like you can obviously, this is. Um, you guys can like see it. So in stores, I feel much more comfortable like shooting with this than shooting with that big thing. 
Hi, baby. But, okay, guys, I just wanted to give you something because I couldn't give you a try on haul, and I'm so excited about that. So I think I have a couple of videos, like, pre-filmed because I'm actually ahead of my work, and I feel so organized. Um, so I think the first vlog we'll do is the one in San Francisco when we go to take our pictures um, coming up. So look out for that. If you're new, make sure you hit that red subscribe button along with the notification bell set to all. This way I can help you navigate motherhood. But as always, guys, we love you, and I'll see you in the next one.